The speed of light would be the final solution to a space industry's big problem. Without a doubt, half of the space exploration issues encountered by companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX would be overcome because the company would no longer spend as much on energy fluids such as methane to power the rocket. Join us as we delve deep into the new science findings that may lead us to assume that objects may travel at the speed of light in space. It seems like an easy solution, right? However, the story changes when the theory of transporting humans through space at the speed of light becomes too complex for scientists to grasp. Even Albert Einstein, the most famous theoretical physicist of all time, who invented the theory of relativity and quantum physics, demonstrated that travelling at the speed of light is impossible. But now, many things have finally changed. Scientists who have spent many sleepless nights exploring numerous conceivable ways objects might be transported through space at the speed of light have discovered what could come close to the feasibility. First, do you understand what I mean by speed of light in this context? Let me get it correct in a nutshell. The speed of light, as described, time it takes for your car headlight to strike any object in front of it as soon as it flashes. You'll see that this light speed travels as fast as it takes for you to blink your eyelid. That's what I'm talking about. When humanity has advanced enough to construct light speed engines, we'll be able to explore so many previously undiscovered areas that it will be insane. We are approaching a stage of evolution. We must contemplate that many sci-fi situations are more accurate than the reality that our five senses enable us to witness. Let us take a look at the first consideration. Many space companies would love to embrace any feasible and safe means of light speed travel, but is it conceivable to develop a sophisticated spaceship that can fly across the universe in one light year per day in the future? And this is what I can say in response to the question. Faster than light travel necessitates technology that we do not currently possess, but one day in the future, we should be able to create an engine capable of traveling that fast, if not quicker. However, it would not be like any other engine on the market today. Why? Because we need to develop new technology to bypass the Lorentz factor. You would have to overcome the Lorentz factor difficulty to travel faster than light. Simply put, the Lorentz factor is a number that rises as your speed increases. The Lorentz factor describes how much more energy is required to accelerate an item as it approaches the speed of light. The Lorentz factor is low for everyday objects, nearly precisely one, but it rapidly increases for high-speed things. An object's Lorentz factor is precisely one when it is at rest. Other than what you have to put into it, you don't need more energy to move something. However, if you have a spaceship traveling at half the speed of light, the Lorentz factor rises to 1.15, implying that you'll need 15% more energy than a spaceship at rest. In other words, if you accelerate a resting spaceship by a certain amount and then accelerate another spacecraft by the same amount, but it's already traveling at half the speed of light, the faster ship will require 15% more energy to achieve the same goal, simply because its speed is close to the speed of light relative to whatever you're measuring with. For practical purposes, the Lorentz factor can be neglected. For example, a jet plane which travels at 1000 km per hour has a Lorentz factor of around 1. The plane is far too slow for the Lorentz factor to be relevant. The Lorentz factor is only applicable to objects moving in space. That may be a viable solution if we can figure out how to move about space or shift space around the spaceship. Alcubia drives are one of the most well-known theoretical engines capable of bending space. It's akin to Star Trek's warp drive. Another option is to skip going fast at all and instead create wormholes. Wormholes are rips in spacetime that connect two different places of any distance. Even if the locations are incredibly far, traveling via the wormhole will make the trip nearly instantaneous. You may ignore the Lorentz factor by warping space either with a wormhole or with a customized engine since you're not physically traveling through space. In Star Trek, the ship always appears to vanish in a flash when it reaches warp or when it goes faster than light. This is due to the ship not being contained in standard space, but instead in a field known as subspace, which allows warping space to travel greater distances in less time than light. Subspace is certainly not real, but it's always worth a look. So our inquiries about traveling one light year each day. This journey would be instantaneous with a wormhole, allowing one to control where the wormhole ends. In theory, you could travel an almost unlimited distance in virtually no time. This indicates that your speed is theoretically infinite. However, because it is impossible to have a speed infinite, physicists would dismiss the concept of speed in a wormhole as meaningless. 
you go through it and you're done in no time. As long as you don't have to travel far to reach the wormhole, you could easily traverse more than a light year in a single day. When you examine Einstein's particular relativity equations, you can see that a moving object grows shorter in the direction of the movement and gains mass. Furthermore, time slows down for that particle. Because of this, particles decay more slowly as they reach higher and faster speeds and increasing their velocity becomes more difficult as their mass increases. The issue is that the mass becomes unlimited at the speed of light and time ceases to exist. Time would begin to rush backward and into the past at subluminal rates, causing a slew of paradoxes. In addition, increasing the velocity of an infinite mass requires an indefinite force. These things are valid for all societies. The impacts are too minor to be recognized in the macro universe although they can be measured with sensitive instruments. That is why moving faster than the speed of light is impossible. You might be able to do that if you can manipulate space or go via a wormhole. After reviewing all scientific evidence, we can conclude that faster than light travel is not conceivable according to current theory. In theory, nothing can go that fast. You can't expect a theory to predict something that the idea itself states is impossible. But having known all this, how then did scientists of the 21st century prove that objects can travel at the speed of light in space? Will the theory work? And what exactly could happen if an object goes faster than the speed of light? It all boils down to warp drive. The television series Star Trek 1966 popularized the word. It was initially based on folded space warps which lowered the overall distance the ship needed to traverse from hundreds of light years to millions of kilometers. After viewing the show, Miguel Alcubier, a theoretical physics student, questioned if Star Trek's warp engine was even possible. It turns out that the answer was yes. That brought about the massive failure of the space in front of the ship and the catastrophic extension of the area behind the spaceship, where space moves rather than the spacecraft. He presented his hypothesis to his teachers, who told him that he should have it published. That is, they did not criticize it or laugh at it. Again, what exactly is warp drive? A warp drive is a method of accelerating an item to the speed of light or faster by displacing space. Sometimes the technology is used to travel slightly slower than light. This technology is typically associated with science fiction. However, new hypotheses such as Alcubia drive have pushed it beyond the realm of research. Warp drive is a possible, faster than light travel technique that may be employed in the future. This does not work without any gasoline. It is pushed naturally by space-time. You're probably wondering how? Assume the spring is space-time. We must reach the star. According to current technology, we'll arrive in 1 billion years. We can observe how space-time is being constricted and expanded in this image. How is this even conceivable? How can we manipulate space-time? This is the question that scientists have been pondering for many years. Finally, they concluded that they needed a negative mass and a negative energy to alter space-time. This form of energy was termed exotic matter. We still haven't discovered any of this energy and may never be able to since the exotic matter has negative mass and we can only find conventional matter on Earth. Did you know? Elon Musk's SpaceX has revealed new light speed engine with NASA. Do you believe that objects could travel at the speed of light one day? Click on this video.